A day in the life of the biggest container ship in the world. Ships specially constructed to hold a huge amount of cargo, packed in different types of containers, are called container ships. The process of sending goods in special containers is called containerization. One of the powerful modes of freight is carried out by container ships. These ships made it possible to transport huge amounts of cargo at once and effectively change the world trade. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about a day in the life of the biggest container ship in the world. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start with a little introduction. Container ships are cargo ships that carry most types of non-bulk sea freight. In today's world, container ships carry about 90% of the world's bulk cargo. One of the main ways to ship ready goods around the world is through container ships. These containers have standardized dimensions, so that they can be easily transferred to different modes of transport. Everything can be shipped on a container ship. Due to the growing demand in the market, increased cargo carrying capacity, improved operational efficiency, improved environmental processes, and the operation of container ships in shipping services, container ships are becoming more and more popular. Bigger, the container carrying capacity of today's container ships has increased by more than 1200% compared to 1968. Over time, they have become more technologically advanced and fuel efficient. The first container ship designs were introduced in the early 1950s and were primarily designed to carry freight cars. Using a crane system and ramp system, these freight cars can be loaded and unloaded from ships. Over the years, advances in technology have made relative methodologies much more feasible, although crane systems still play an important role in handling containers to and from tunnels. Ship, specialized loading, and unloading systems are used to secure the containers in place. When working on a container ship, tasked with the safe navigation of the ship and its high-value cargo, seafarers face daily challenges with inclement weather and hectic schedules in port, not to mention timing, intensive training for many consecutive months. However, with promotion opportunities and good salaries, seafaring is becoming an increasingly popular profession. Merck's deck cadet, Justin White, who has less than a year left to qualify as a third officer, has not looked back since taking a drop at the shipping company in 2012. Containerization has reduced shipping costs and reduced transit times, thus contributing to the growth of the international trade. Goods that were once packed in crates, crates, bales, crates or bags are now delivered in sealed factory crates, with no indication to the human eye of their contents except for the product code that the machines have. Scannable and computer monitorable. This tracking system is so accurate that it can time a two-week trip to its destination with an accuracy of fewer than 15 minutes. This has led to revolutions such as ensuring on-time delivery and just-in-time production. Raw materials arrive from factories and sealed containers less than an hour before they are needed for production, reducing inventory costs. Exporters load goods into boxes provided by shipping companies. They are then brought to the pier by road, rail, or a combination of both to be loaded onto container ships. Before the container was packed, huge groups of men spent hours loading different types of goods into different storage compartments. Today, cranes installed on wharves or ships are used to load containers onto ships. Once the hull was fully loaded, additional cargo boxes were sewed on deck. The largest container ships today are 400 meters, 1300 feet long. They have the payload equivalent to the capacity of 16 to 17 freighters before World War II. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.